Hey, good morning, and welcome to uh, another in the episode of the interviews that are uh, for the artists that are participating in the Riverdale Art Walk. So this is just a little bit of a taste of some of the uh, amazing work that you're going to see at Riverdale in a couple of weeks. Starts June 18th and 19th at Jimmy Simpson Park. So pretty excited to uh, to have that show in life, real life, and to see the art lovers and for the artists to actually reconnect with the community will be super fun too. So uh, today we're going to be talking to Carolyn Laidley-Arn. Carolyn is an abstract painter who, let me just see if she's here already. Um, she's an abstract painter who is also actually on the board at the Artist Network, so is also very involved in making sure that the Riverdale Art Walk kind of happens and that um, we're able to continue to, uh, to deliver it. So we're pretty excited about that. I don't think Carolyn's joined us yet, so we're going to wait a little bit more. So we have 150 artists that are in the park and additional 20 artists that are online. So all 170 artists will be online as well. So that's uh, just something to know. There's lots of, there's some beautiful work. It's all juried. So photography and painting and abstract and realism and landscapes and portraiture and fiber art. It's just like a whole bunch of everything. So I'm pretty excited to, uh, to see it all. I'm with Carolyn. I hope. <laughs> hey, how are you? Hi, Kate. How are you? Good. You're outside in your garden, I see. I am. Yeah, what a beautiful day. It's so sunny and it's gorgeous. Hopefully yeah, I was going to do that. Yeah. yeah. No, I just have somebody cutting my cutting the grass, so I thought that might be a little bit distracting for our call. Oh, boy, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so far, we're okay here. <laughs> yeah. Well, thank you for joining me, and uh, it's really great to, uh, to have the opportunity to see your art. It's nice that it's actually behind you. But maybe you can talk a little bit about kind of, you know, who you are as an artist and what you're looking to do. Sure. Um, well, I guess just going back to how I got started. So originally, um, my first career was in interior design. So that was creative. It was fun. Um, when my daughter was born, um, I got out of interior design and I started to, I got to, I, I headed over to the dark side and I did uh, business development, uh, working for uh, interior construction companies <coughs> and commercial interiors. And now I'm a commercial real estate agent. I still work for full time. Um, and while I was, you know, Stephanie was sort of graduating from fine arts. She's also an exhibiting artist. Um, um, I really felt like I'd lost something. I didn't, wasn't doing anything creative. I, you know, there was nothing um, that way. So I started to paint and paint and paint. And I took lessons and... Um, I just loved it. It was so important, you know, to my inner peace and soul. And, um, and then I, I started exhibiting um, and have, and, and, you know, no, no, uh, no stopping there. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. So how long, how long have you, uh, have you kind of been creating then in this I think it's about phase. seven years now. You know, I keep say, thinking, I guess the two years of COVID were a blur, and I don't know if we're adding or subtracting, but yeah, it's been about uh, six or seven <laughs> years, and I've also been lucky to uh, be heavily organized, heavily involved in the Artist Network along with you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's fun. <laughs> yeah. So tell me, tell me about your work. Like, how do you start? What, where do you get your inspiration from? If you've got a blank piece of canvas in front of you, what yeah. are the first things you do? Yeah, that's a really interesting question, Kate. Um, you know, we all have a, uh, what I find really cool is that when we, people are in the park at uh, Riverdale, they're going to be looking at different people's arts and everybody starts with a blank white, assume uh, canvas or piece of paper and all these magnificent things come out of it. So, you know, mm -hmm. for me, um, I, I really start with play. So I, you know, put things down. I don't have an expectation when I begin. I want it to be fun. I want it to be playful. I want it to be, you know, almost in some ways childlike and, um, and just kind of let my whole self um, be expressed. So there's a process where a lot of things go down. And then I really start to develop, you know, the message and the meaning um, of the uh, of the piece and start to sort of take away and add and just refine. 
So I don't have a, a plan of what it's going to be when I begin, um, which is scary in some ways and really fun in other ways. And um, yeah, it can bet. take all kinds of twists and turns, and I'm okay with that. Um, typically, they take a long time. I work on a number of pieces at the same time and um, just, you know, take it, work on it, move it along and, and go from there. And um, because I work full time, uh, most of my work is done on the weekends and the evenings. And I've also started to get up really early and start to work. And, you know, so it's a matter of putting it down, picking it up. Um, and then, you know, eventually... Uh, after a number of sessions and a number of passes, um, I'll get close to where I want to be. And so when you start, do you start with like a, a color palette in mind? Like I can see the one behind you is very soft blues and teals and <coughs> yeah. things like that. Well, I guess we all have our colors that we love. And um, I've tended to uh, more recently go to a softer palette. Um, you know, it's always soft with something crazy in it. And, that's just me. So, <laughs> um, but um, yeah, I mean, I pre-mix uh, colors, but um, uh, throughout the process, um, some other kind of colors come into it. Um, you know, I can never, I have a can of fluorescent green spray paint that I can never leave behind. And so that comes into um, a lot of my work at some point. Um, and sometimes it's uncovered, but um, yeah, I, I, I loosely, I, I would say I start with a palette, um, right. but, um, but I have access to, <laughs> to many, many <laughs> colors. And so it, it doesn't end up as controlled as maybe I'd like it to be, or one would think. So I guess as the process happens, then, you know, you, there's must be a lot of really just looking at it and figuring out then what are you going to mask out and what are you going to cover and what are you going to kind of leave that comes through from the initial uh, layers of paint then? Yeah, absolutely. Well, I use some um, acrylic and mixed media. And so, you know, um, one of the things is, is, is never being afraid. And so if I put a big bold mark down there and I don't like it, well, I can just cover it up. And then there are points where I'll say, okay, I really love this, but why don't I, take it out and see if something better comes along. Um, I'll often um, uh, put in um, a collage at a certain point and, you know, really cover things up and try to pull them out. And I think it just makes it a really interesting process because it's the depth of all the layers, which effectively could be 10 or 15, uh, sometimes more um, layers that, that really give uh, the piece richness and, uh, depth and real meaning so how do you know when to stop like how do you know when it's done because if you're continually adding and playing and adding and subtracting and covering I don't know. you kind of get a sense of where you're at I mean it's not that I've never picked something up that I've decided to be finished and finish it some more um, <laughs> but you get a sense of where it is um, at uh, at a certain time that that you're pretty much there um, yeah, so it's, uh, but yeah, there is no, I mean, those are the big questions for an artist, you know, what to paint, how to paint it, and when to stop. <laughs> exactly, yeah, that's always the hard part, I think, sometimes. Yeah, yeah. So, I so mean, somebody I coming think, to... Sorry, go ahead. Nope, you go. Yeah, the beauty of acrylic is that you can continue, and, you know, if, if things need adjusting, you can work it through, and, you know, I'm never afraid to cover something up or have something be precious because I always believe that, you know, by taking the bold, brave step that something better will come out of it. And if it doesn't, you that's just a good philosophy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so uh, when, when someone's coming to your tent at Riverdale Art Walk, what should they expect to see? Well, um, most of the work that I'm showing is, uh, is relatively new. I've work, been working on a new collection uh, since the beginning of 2020. Um, and so it's going to be a slightly different palette, um, uh, different shapes. So you see two pieces that are behind me. Um, one is this still has some of the um, uh, oval and uh, spherical shapes that I was really uh, developing last year. 
um, and the other one uh, less so. Um, the other thing I'm going to have is these really cool, sorry, I, the reflection is, but some really, really pretty uh, little framed pieces, little small ones. Oh. And so I'll have some hold different it, Hold shapes. it up a bit so we can see it. Up. Oh, oh cool. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I see. Okay. So I couldn't see. Yeah. So I've got, I'll have these framed pieces and... Um, uh, we were in an art show uh, on the weekend uh, together and they were quite popular. So they're fun little pieces that you can sit on a shelf or um, put on a wall and uh, are already framed. So I will have some of those there too while they last. Excellent. Yeah, it's always nice to uh, be able to kind of just pick something else and put it right on your wall and not have to frame it or or worry about any of that. Yeah, absolutely. And I've done some paper studies like that and just framed them in the, uh, you know, the best the best Ikea has to offer. And uh, the next <laughs> thing is that, uh, you know, you can take them and, and frame and put them on the wall or put them on a shelf. So I'll be focusing a lot on that ready to go and uh, ready to uh, ready to hang. So yeah, but uh, I'm really looking forward to it. It, uh, it looks like it'll be a fantastic show this year. Yes, I think so too. Yeah. Yeah. It, yeah. And it truly is one of those shows where, you know, as a collector, there's something for everybody. Which well, is pretty awesome. you know, 150 artists in the park, all doing different things. Um, I think you mentioned it was the first show that you did. It was the first show that I mm -hmm. did. Um, and it's a really nice um, uh, show for new artists. Um, you know, there are a lot of seasoned veterans that'll be there, like yourself. Um, but also, we're seeing a, a real influx of new, really, really great artists that uh, will be included. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. Okay, well, thank you so much for your time. And uh, yeah, I look forward to uh, well, seeing your work once again. I saw it last weekend, so I just saw it recently. <laughs> <but>. <laughs> seeing it all in the tent with 149 other artists is going to be awesome. <laughs> yeah, thanks a lot, Kate. And thanks a lot for okay. all you do. I know you put a tremendous amount of time and uh, we all as artists appreciate it. Well, you too. It's kind of one of those things you, you give to the community and the community gives back, which is always an important Absolutely. thing, I think. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. Okay, well, okay, take cool. care and have a great day. Sounds good. Thanks you too. All right. Bye-bye. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.